Lindbergh was the big part of why the airplane is, is probably what it is today. The story is probably what made me build it. This wholesome, honest, fearless, courageous product of America rose into the air from Long Island on a monoplane, christened the spirit of St. Louis. With the Spirit of St. Louis and the Lindbergh story, what was special and different about Lindbergh's flight was it was the first solo. There was only one person in that cockpit doing all the flying. They were anticipating the flight was going to take 40 hours. Fortunately, he did pick up some tailwind and was able to complete it in 33 and a half hours. But for any of us today, staying up 24 hours straight with no sleep is rough enough without even thinking about having to be in the cold, all alone, in the dark, over an ocean, no place to land. I mean, just all the challenges that went along with that. And I think that's the part that made Lindbergh's flight more exciting. John decided that yes, he was going to build the most authentically accurate replica that's ever been built. You're looking at something that there's no drawings for. One Halloween, he built me a full suit of armor. I thought that was normal. There were a number of things that we discovered that we did not know about the original Spirit of St. Louis. Look at what we found. It's laying on the original fabric across the belly of the fuselage. Having the opportunity to build a plane that changed the world in transportation. We found the guy in the world who can do it. His name is John Norman. Okay, I'm going to build an airplane. And people were saying, oh, you'll never do that. Boy, he was into it. And he was going to make it just as original as he could make it. With this spirit, John is flying this thing. When you build something like that, you put everything you got into it, all your energy. This is what you get, emotion. My dad's motto has kind of always been, if someone else can do it, then you can do it. Don't tell me I can't. I'm going to show you I can.